Okay, now that we have this, and we're controlling everything with our min and max expressions, uh, I'm going to add a random width. That one is extremely easy. I'm just going to add a uh, rand between 0 0.02 and 0 0.03, right? That's easy. Apply. And it's failing because I put the semicolon that I shouldn't put, put because it's the last operator. So I have a value and maybe it's, it can be smaller here. Remember that you can do this with the actual expression that we already did and control everything over here directly. How? You just need to add this expression that we already have, paste it here. Just this is going to be uh, without the actual operator. Right, run min, run max, apply. And the values are extremely high. We don't need that high values. We need a value that it's 0.1 at max, I mean, at min, and the max could be around 0 0.03. It's just slowly good values. So run one. That was even less than that. So 0, 1, and 0, 3. Apply. You need to put more numbers here, right? To make this better and useful. So, like that. Maybe it's too much now. Something like this, look, okay. So let's go to 100. Now I have my hair here and let's explain how our beautiful stray expression works. Remember our stray expression? The one that we used on the stray uh, control. So let's add a frequency of 0.2, low frequency, high magnitude. So this is going to break everything. But I want this break to be just on some parts. I don't want them to be on every part. So I need to add a rand value, right? That's the first thing that I need. So I can add a rand with a value between zero and one. That's the basic apply. So I have a texture that has a value between zero and one. So it's adding me the actual stray on some parts, yes, on some part, no, but I have no control at all of my actual expression. So what I need to do is to add more information to be able to control my expression. So what I need to do is to add a percentage. So I want 1% of the hair to be affected. I want 50% of my hair to be affected. And how do you calculate a percentage on mathematics just so for that you just need to make like the basic operation of the value that we want divide in between 100 and multiply it by the amount of values that we need but we don't care we need just to make it work so we know that we have the two values and we need to find a way to control them what we did or what Michael Todd did on this expression, would it sit really, really nice and easy to control? He set a first variable. That variable, it's going to be a number, that that number is going to be the percentage that we want to use. Let's say that I went at 10% of my hair to be affected. That's okay. Then I use a semicolon to declare the actual space. And we know that it has to have a value between zero and 100. That's what we know so far, right? This is the percentage. So we can even add here the name because we already know percentage stray or percent stray to match the same. Okay, so we have the actual expression. We already know that we need values, right? We need a random value. 
The random value generates a random number with no parameters and the number generates between zero and one. So if we don't put a parameter here, the value that it generates is between zero and one. It's actually what we need because the frequency of the mask is zero and one. So we don't need to put anything here, right? Because the, the same instruction, when we create a random, we can see that it generates a random number. Okay, we are fine there. Now, we know that this random number needs to be on a percentage. So we need to drive this random number. And if we put 1%, the random needs to stay on just 1%. So it, it cannot be above 1%. So we need to say that this random, it's always going to be less or minor than, so we can add the minor than sign. And then we have to declare, we need the percentage. So we need an actual value that it's from zero to one. If we want, if we have a value of 100, right? And we need to convert this into a value of one, we need to divide this by 100, right? So it's basic 100 between 100 is one. And that's the max value that we need. So if I need a value of zero, I need to divide this by zero, zero. If I need a value of 50 or five, that is 0.5, the actual mask, so half the, the values, I need to divide 50, sorry, uh, for zero is always going to be the same, 50, that's wrong actually, it's zero by 100, sorry. And divided by 100 is going to be 0 0.5, right? Okay, we are close there. So if I add a value divided by 100, by 100, we have one. We know that that value works. If we have a value of zero, it's equal zero. If we have a value of 50 and we divide it by 100, we have a value of 0 0.5. So, so good so far. This is no effect of the strays. This is half the effect of the strays and this is complete effect of the strays, right? So it's 25 here, it's going to be between 100, it's going to be 2.5 and 75 here between 100, it's going to be 0.75. So that works. So far, it's working. So we need to say that the amount that we put here, the first amount, person stray, that it's equal to 10, so 10 divided between 100. So we know that random value, that it's a random value between blah, 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 zero to one, we already know the expression set that to us, needs to be less than the value that we put here. So we need to use this here. So the person stray, this value, divided between 100, 0 0.2, 2.5, we already saw the expression, needs to be always higher than the RAND value. So if I put a value of 10 here, the RAND is always going to be from zero to 10 here, right? That's so far, it's okay. Now, we have a choice operator. The choice operator, what makes, it makes the program to make a choice between two values. So we want, the random to have a value between two. It's the same effect that we have with the strays. If we use a stray uh, option, we need to add, like this is the stray percentage that we declare here in descriptions. Remember, description, set the stray percentage, that it's also the same, but this is going to work for everything. Sorry, this lesson is a little bit longer. So we need to say, okay, we want a stray percentage between one and zero. So this actually makes, sorry, it wasn't this, and zero. What it's saying is we want uh, the stray percentage that is equal to 20%, choose between one and zero. So this operator here, 
It's saying choose between one value and the other. It's the same thing that we have with the rand. So we need to make him choose between a value of one and a value of zero, right? It's just to force him to choose. So a value of one and a value of zero. And we don't need the semicolon because we are not closing the expression. So we are saying him that we have the person stray that is 10%. We have a random value that is choosing values between zero and one. And we know that needs to be smaller than the 10%. So it needs to be only in areas less than 10%. And it needs to choose a value between zero and one because our mask is zero and one and we should apply. And we can see that we can control the amount of white spots that we have here. If I put here a value of zero and 0.5 and apply, you can see that now it's gray. So it's choosing between values on zero and one and it's not being lower than five. If I put two here, it's starting to choose values between two and 0 0.5. So the mask is, doesn't matter. We can add this to magnitude and then it's going to be different. But right now we are going to put one and zero apply. And remember that we have our full noise here and we can see how we have our beautiful strays. So this is going to be this lesson. I hope you like it and see you in the next one.